All right, how's it going guys? Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a very simple thumbnail for YouTube. It's uh right now I'm going to be making a matchmaking part 2 thumbnail for Counter-Strike Global Offensive just to make it look pretty nice. So what I'm going to do at first is go into my clone stamp and get rid of the 100 right there and right there and get rid of the 30 and 90 for my rounds and the bomb. So I'm going to go in and do that right now. pretty simple stuff depending on where you take the screenshot it'll be easier because the map stuff is different and whatnot each scene in the map is different like right there rounds are gone now the arm is kind of difficult and just making it look like a regular arm doesn't really matter because once you zoom out the arms aren't very graphic intensive they just kind of look like clay in my opinion so this isn't that hard to do at all it's blending in yeah I mean doesn't look great. But, hey, it works for what we're doing. Yeah, it looks fine for what we're doing. Now, this may get a little tricky here. So, I'm not going to do that get rid of that because I don't really feel like messing with making the bricks look perfect so now what I'm going to do is go to my quick selection just select the gun your arms make it look nice black selects very easily if you notice because it goes off contrast I'm assuming in how close colors are to each other now what you're going to want to do is hold down your alt key and just tidy up your selection because it's going to be a little sloppy because we're using the, the quick selection tool. Now if you don't want to be sloppy you could always use the pen tool but that's going to take a lot longer and for video editing purposes no one wants to watch me do that. Alright, now that this is all selected, oh, you don't want that selected. Alright. Now that this is all selected, you're going to go to Select, Inverse, or Shift, Control, I. Alright, now once this is all selected and inversed, you're going to want to go to Filter, Blur Gallery, Field Blur, and you're going to get a nice little depth of field going in your background while your selection is still nice and sharp looking. I like this around uh, 15 for my blur. I think I'm pretty sure that's the default which I like quite a bit. Now once you're done with this you're gonna press enter you're gonna press um, you're going to press control D to deselect and there is your nice little um, depth of field in focus gun while your background is nice and blurry and now we're gonna wanna add some type so we're gonna go to type we're going to press CS space go match making all right and now what we're going to want to do is make this type a different color and we are going to eyedropper tool on the red There we go, that worked that time. And now what we're going to want to do is go to your layer, layer style, 
stroke. We're going to want to do an outside stroke of seven points. Well, that's at least what I prefer, what I like. And now we're going to do the same thing for another text layer. This is my second competitive match I've recorded for YouTube. We are going to align it. We are going to go to uh, layer, layer style, stroke. We are going to give it an outside stroke of seven like we did for the first one. And we are now going to merge these two layers as a smart object. Line it up. I'm going to make it a tad bit bigger without increasing my without increasing my font size by pressing control T. All right. All right. Now let's see. There we go in the middle. And I'm a fan of it right there. Uh, and that is pretty much how you make a decent looking thumbnail in six minutes for your YouTube video. It's not too great, but it gets the job done. Looks looks pretty well to me. Right, if you like this video, just leave a like. And uh, stay tuned for more Counter-Strike content. Some Don't Strive Together. Some, some uh, Daisy. And uh, thanks for watching.